Hey, Natalie here. Today we're gonna make a mince pie that will not only outshine its glutinous cousin, but will fool anyone to think it's the real deal. If you're like me, not from Ireland or the UK, you may wonder what is a mince pie, and should I dare to try it and be all adventurous? Oh. The first time I met my mince pie, it just looked like this. And I was thinking, hmm, you're cold. You have powdered sugar on it. And I was confused because I was thinking mince pie would be ground beef, lamb, and some other juicy deliciousness. And then I bit into it. I was surprised, pleasantly. It's one of those things when you go on a first date you don't know what to expect. Will I be happy or will I be sad? A lot of new sensation hitting my mouth. A flaky pastry. It's not a pie crust, definitely not pie, but it's called mince pie, but it's not a pie crust. And then the filling. Raisins. Dried fruit. No beef. I like it! Since we know now what a mince pie is, let's get started on a recipe. And that recipe got approved by the Mince Pie Council. Uh-huh. And I'm going to tell you next week who is the Mince Pie Council and how I got approval for this recipe. For the filling, also called the minced meat, Add 300 grams of raisins and golden raisins. 80 gram of mixed peel, which is normally lemon and orange peel. And 175 grams of dried apricots. Add 125 grams of dark brown sugar. 125 grams of light brown sugar. This is not going to work. Glad I got a bigger bowl. You want to slice and dice two Granny Smith or Braeburn apples. You want to have more sour puckery apples. Um, cut them into small cubes. Add the zest of one lemon. And the zest of an orange. Make sure that you wash the orange and the lemon before using it. Add the juice of one lemon. And of one orange. Measure and add about five tablespoons of brandy. On the stove melt 200 grams of butter which you will add to the mixture. Give all the ingredients a good stir and let the brandy and the butter soak into the dried fruits overnight. Let's get started on the pie dough. Add 210 grams of millet flour, 200 grams of white rice flour, 140 grams of potato flour, 140 grams of brown rice flour, and 70 grams of oat flour. Add 240 grams of sugar. Add three large eggs. For the vegan version, you can omit the eggs, but it makes the dough much more brittle. Weigh 280 grams of butter or vegan substitute. Start mixing the ingredients with a fork or a spatula. And then start kneading the dough until you have one smooth dough ball. Let the dough rest overnight in the fridge. The next day, transfer all the ingredients into a pot and cook in all the dried fruits until all the liquid has evaporated. Make sure to let the minced meat completely cool down before using it. In the meantime, roll out the dough. The dough should be a quarter inch thick and cut out with a cookie cutter small circles. Shortbread dough is very brittle, so it will crack and you will have to fill in the holes with some more extra dough. Fill the pies with the cold minced meat. 
roll out some more dough and cut out some star cookies or any kind of shape you have available and cover the individual mince pies with it. Bake the mince pies for 20 to 25 minutes at 320 degree Fahrenheit. You want to make sure that the shortbread doesn't turn brown. And voila, here's your mince pies. You may want to dust them with some powdered sugar or some icing sugar for a prettier look. Here you have it, your mince pie. So enjoy it with a cup of tea or for me, a cup of coffee. And if you liked the video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I see you next week talking about the Minced Pie Council.